good evening and happy new year. I know this is the, I know this is the first video of first video update that I've probably done for the year 2020 and and all what I've done it last Sunday but wasn't able to do it unfortunately um, especially with the severe weather that we supposedly had last Sunday but <coughs> but the Saturday is a day we absolutely absolutely have to be weather aware and alert um, the last time I checked would check the uh, outlooks from the storm prediction center they have a risk for all of Alabama a risk for strong to severe storms for all of Alabama and all of Mississippi Saturday and most of Georgia and most of Tennessee and perhaps most of Florida especially northwest Florida or so and the 15% range is for most of the state and the 30% range which is pretty much an enhanced risk for a good portion of a good portion of Alabama and Mississippi and of course forget about the risk areas there's a risk for severe strong severe storms and everybody needs to be aware of it and as far as the threats, damaging winds, or, uh, damaging winds 58 miles per hour or greater, maybe 70 miles per hour or greater than that. Large hail is possible, and tornadoes are possible. I have, that's all. That's those are the and flooding, of course. Damaging winds, large hail, tornadoes, and flooding are all possible. And everybody in Alabama and Mississippi and part of Georgia and Tennessee and Florida and Texas and Arkansas and Louisiana everybody needs to be very aware of the situation and you gotta make sure you have to make sure you have a plan such as I know what to, uh, knowing where to go knowing what to do having a readiness kit and having multiple multiple resources of getting the watches and the warnings such as a no weather radio a very reliable weather app <coughs> a free reliable weather app on whatever mobile device you have and tv of course in case one source goes out you'll have the other and having a plan knowing where your tornado safe place is it's not a mobile home, it's not a manufactured home, it's not a trailer. Anything that's, a, that's not a site built structure is the worst place to be during severe weather of any kind. Same thing with a vehicle, a car, bus, truck, train, airplane, anything that's a vehicle, worst place to be. Any, and, and, and the site built structure you're in, whether it's your home or your workplace, whatever it is in that site built structure, basement, storm shelter, safe room, or if there's a community storm shelter nearby, or a safe room nearby, that's where you should go. Otherwise, bath, a small room, bathroom, cooler, closet, hallway, lowest floor, near the center and away from all windows and doors and put as many walls between you and the outside as possible and put helmets, pillows, anything not metal or electrical to protect your head and your entire body. And have hard sole shoes in case you had to walk through storm damage. That way your feet won't get shredded. And have a air horn, air horn whistle, something like that. That way if you're injured and you need help and can't talk or anything the first responders can get to you that's very simple and don't and do not rely on the sirens don't think you're the only way of getting the war getting the watches and the warnings they're called outdoor warning sirens they're not meant to be heard out they're not meant to be heard indoors they're meant to be heard outdoors just because you 
may hear them on occasion does not mean that does not mean you're gonna hear them every single time so please make sure you are aware of that and and if the warnings are issued do not ignore them make sure you know if you're in the warning or not if you're in the warning you get to your site you get to your safe place immediately and don't wait don't do it do not wait this is not this is not to scary to scare anybody as to make sure everybody is prepared and not scared I mean, just just make sure you're prepared with knowing knowing where to knowing what to do and knowing where to go and having a readiness kit and you'll be fine and pray for them and pray for the best and you'll be fine um, y'all have I'll get the Facebook live and the Instagram live going talking about the severe weather threat as soon as I have a chance but if I'm not in then of course I'll be working Saturday at 10 30 unless something dramatically changes and if um, if I have to uh, I mean if we have any warnings or watches while I'm working do not wait for me to post the information about it or do a live video about it rely on your local radio or TV station for more information do not wait for me or anyone else to you know go and go live and tell you to take cover once you get the warning and you know you're in the warning get to shelter immediately as simple as that I'll have a wonderful night and hope to see you at McDonald's Saturday at 10 30 here at Leighton Baptist Church this Sunday morning at, at 8 15, 9 o'clock at 10 a.m. And, and 6 p.m. for all of our regularly scheduled services and all. Y'all have a wonderful night and stay weather aware and be safe and God bless.